Storm Team 44 meteorologist Gunnar Consul is tracking our conditions tonight. Gunnar, I know you were just excited as I was to see the Northern Lights last night. Can we please expect that tonight? Tell me. Yeah, so we have the latest information on what the solar storm that the Earth is currently experiencing, and I kind of have an expectation, an idea of what we could see. But before we get into that, let's talk about what we are seeing right now. Well, let's look off towards the north, and, well, we aren't seeing really that much. This is the Lloyd Expressway looking from downtown Evansville. So this is the north sky. This is the direction you're going to want to be facing. But downtown Evansville definitely isn't the best place to be looking because you can see all these city lights out there. Trust me, yesterday I saw the northern lights here in downtown Evansville, even with all the light pollution. And I drove out to Fairfield, Illinois for a better view, and the stars were just easier to see. So going to more rural areas is going to help you tonight. But right now, nice and clear. We're not really worrying about cloud cover at all. When I drove to Illinois yesterday, we did encounter some clouds, just a little bit, but not too much to impede the view. But one thing we're going to want to keep in mind is with low humidity and very chilly temperatures, you're going to want to have a layer or two with you, maybe a blanket to lay out on and to cover yourself up with as these temperatures drop tonight. Now, with clear skies expected for the tri-state and no clouds really in the vicinity, it looks like if the central U.S. or even the whole U.S. experiences the aurora tonight, it looks like the tri-state may, may be the best spot to view it with minimal cloud cover. So KP is an index that indicates just how visible the uh, aurora borealis could be. It is especially a good indicator at how far south they can be visible. So last night when we were seeing the lights in downtown Evansville and in the tri-state, the KP was an 8 and a 9. Now, it's been trending a little bit less around a 7, but the forecast still has it returning back to an 8 or a 9 late tonight. So if it stays a 7, it would be visible overhead around Chicago, but low on the horizon in Evansville. So with the forecast expected to be a 9, we could see another view like this, more so around 3 to 4 a.m., so it might be a late night if you want to go catch those rays. It's going to be happening a bit later than last night. But we have a beautiful Mother's Day on tap for tomorrow. I'll get into those details coming up.